Engaging the Interconnectedness of Natural Systems. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 493. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our September 4th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is engaging the interconnectedness of natural systems, which is a complex topic. But if humanity, humanity is to become stewards of our planet, we need to be engaging the interconnectedness of natural systems and applying that to our design process, applying that to our construction process, and designing that and applying that to our living models as well. And so one community is engaging the interconnectedness of natural systems with all the foundations that we see as important to sustainable living. And these foundations we have divided into two different categories, the physical foundations, and the emotional foundations. And most people are familiar with, well, everybody is familiar with physical foundations. They are food, energy, and housing. What most people are not so familiar with, don't really consider as important or as important to, as important, said it twice, as important to sustainability is the fulfilled living models, what we call high school approaches to education, economics, and true, true earth stewardship. These are the emotional foundations. And putting these together, is important and we feel is the key to demonstrating a way of living built on comprehensive sustainability and evolution of sustainability that combines these physical foundations with these emotional emotional foundations to provide a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they live than they're living right now and we believe that if we can make this easy enough affordable enough and attractive enough then the model will spread its own and everything that you see happening in the background of this video are the components that we're developing. It's just a taste of what it is that we're creating to demonstrate this radically, comprehensively sustainable model that demonstrates engaging the interconnectedness of natural systems and applying that to each one of these different components. It's about looking at natural systems and how they are interconnected, how an ecosystem works, and how each component of that ecosystem is symbiotic and supportive to the other components of that system, even the ones that break down those systems, even like predators within a system, in a system play a very important role. And so it's looking at every component of a system, looking at the interconnectedness of those natural systems and then saying, okay, how can we create that in our comprehensive living models? How can we take the food, the energy, the housing? How can we take the fulfilled living? How can we take the education, the economics, true stewardship? Look at those systems as all interconnected and build them so that they're interwoven and all interrelated, interdependent and supportive of each other to build a better way of living, to demonstrate a better way of living. And so this is what one community is doing. We have taken what we call a highest good of all approach to everything that we're creating and we said okay what is the most supportive models that we can build for ourselves but also supportive of our surrounding environments are the ecosystems the bio the biodiversity within our environments that are supportive for our on the community level on the local level on the county level on the state level on the country level and on the global level how can we build interconnected systems and create a system of systems that are working together to create a better world for everybody an ecosystem a sustainability ecosystem i guess you could call it a global sustainability ecosystem working together to support the real global ecosystem, the actual physical global ecosystem, in a way that will create a world that works for everybody and support all people and all living things on this planet. This is our idea, idea of engaging the, the interconnectedness of natural systems and applying it to living model design. And so, for instance, you know, building homes, when we talk about housing, it's about building homes that will not last for decades, but will last for hundreds of years. It's about building homes without toxic uh, 
construction materials, without paints that include toxins, without adhesives that include toxins, without materials that include toxins. It's about growing food without pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides, which are detrimental not only to the food and the people that eat them, but to the entire ecosystem. Again, looking at the interconnectedness of natural systems and engaging that process and saying, oh, okay, well, the food that we eat supports our ability to build these houses, and the health of these houses supports our ability to grow this food, as an example, and all of that supports our ability to pay for and construct uh, renewable energy infrastructure that's going to support both of these as well. And in creating that, we can create more financial abundance and freedom and time and space within our life by cooperating and collaborating on these things and building our infrastructure this way, this physical infrastructure, it allows us to put more time and energy into the fulfilled living component. And that fulfilled living component is deeply interwoven with the highest good approaches to education, economics, and of course the true earth, steward, earth stewardship. And so by looking at all these things as interconnected and addressing each of them individually with the mindset of how can we approach all of these together simultaneously and how can we do the best in all of these categories, this goes back to something I said in previous videos about creating a million dollar lifestyle, a luxurious eco community living lifestyle that's better than the way that most people live right now. And how I can say it's a million dollar lifestyle is because I know how much it costs to create a home without any toxins in it. And most people aren't even thinking about this. You know, to grow food that is not just devoid of herbicides, fungicides, and pesticides, but it's locally grown, picked fresh that day or that week, way fresher than anything that you could get in the grocery store. And if somebody wanted to pay for that experience for themselves, how much that would cost. It's about building a renewable energy, knowing that everything that you're doing is being being powered by ethically sustainable renewable energy sources that you can feel good about and reduces your cost of living at the same time. And same thing, the fulfilled living practice is about creating an environment that provides more things to do than most people have access to in a major metropolitan area, all within walking distance and all for free. Imagine that. It's about providing a world-class education that's superior to most, most uh, private schooling systems where parents are deeply involved in that process. And it's a kid-centric process that teaches kids how to learn, not just what to learn, and how to think creatively and expand their learning process beyond what's taught in most schools. These are the kinds of things where I say, oh, we could create a million-dollar lifestyle with these environments, create a way of living that is far superior than the way that most people are living right now. It's about living, eliminating your commute. It's about having more time to do the things that you want to do and things to do with that time, specifically all within walking distance and all for free. It's about applying a club med type model and creating a lifestyle out of that. And that and the value of being able to spend more, being able to do something of value in society, knowing that your lifestyle and what you're creating and what you're doing is giving back positively on a global level, you can't even put a price tag on that. So this is what we're open sourcing and free sharing. This is what one community is doing. This is how we're engaging the interconnectedness of natural systems in our complete building design construction process. And, um, and we call it ultimately living and creating for the highest good of all, of all people and all life on this planet. And, uh, and it's modeled after nature. It really is. It's modeled about after creating symbiotic relationships and looking at the interconnectedness of all things and saying, like, how can we do the best that's possible? And recognizing that we might not know all the answers, that we're going to make mistakes, but setting our intent and constantly revising and improving the process so it just gets better and better and open sourcing and free sharing that so that people globally can engage with that, replicate it, improve it even more, open source and free share their adaptations and modifications. And so we can create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. So we can create a sustainable planet within our lifetime. That's possible. I talk about it in a lot of other videos, so I won't go into it here because it's already getting too long, but this is what we're up to. So if you like this sort of thing, subscribe, click that bell, um, get your notifications, get a dose of positivity every week in your inbox. Uh, if you'd like to see exactly what our team has accomplished within the last week, visit our weekly progress update blog that has the same name as this this video, uh, and you can see nine, ten years of blogs going back, seeing our progress. I'd like to see all the open source tools and resources, everything that we've created, visit our website. Of course, if you'd like to get involved, be a part of what it is that we're doing, visit our helping page. You can, of course, you can donate. Just watching the end of this video is helpful for our algorithm. You know, there's lots of ways to support what it is that we're creating. And thanks. If you're just supporting by watching this video, that makes a difference. We do really, really appreciate it.
So that said, stick around for a couple minutes if you'd like to see bullet points and all the major components of our project. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on engaging the interconnectedness of natural systems and working to create a world that works for all of us within our lifetime. This is what we're up to. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.